Okay, first we're going to work out silhouette. And silhouette's a very easy way to portray a shape. So that shape is going to be a sword. So think sword. All right. Now we're going to start drawing this with the polygonal lasso tool. And all swords have a guard. And I'm just going to get crazy with the guard. Maybe it has this area where it's slanted a little bit. And then it comes to a point. Now I'm going to go edit, fill, OK. Good, you have yourself a sword. It's one half of a sword. Okay. And what we're going to do is work out that shape with a brush. Black, 100% flow. And we're just going to go in here and kind of play around with the shape. Put some claws on it. Maybe round up this area. And if you take your mouse and use the eraser tool, I don't you see I didn't have to switch over to the eraser tool. I'm gonna wake on drawing tablet, so it, it makes things a lot easier sometimes. But you can do this with a mouse, no doubt about it. I've seen some good concept artists use a mouse. It's ridiculous. The smudge command works really well for concepting pieces out. So, you know, sometimes if I don't have an idea, I'll just take and smudge that. So oftentimes you'll see me go like this. Okay. Now draw something cool down here. Smudge it out. Don't worry about blur versus not blur yet. This is just working out silhouette, but I do want to define these as a little bit more. Good. Okay, I like those blades that have some kind of dip in them, so I'm going to kind of put that dip in every once in a while, like a serrated type of look right here. Maybe two little dots in. But don't make it so real unrealistic that there's some kind of uh, break in the blade right there. Good. So important not to concentrate too much on this. Make it a little wider. Okay, and then I'm going to take the warp command. To make this a little crazier. So I got a lot of control here. Good. And please don't think that you have to do the same exact sword. Please don't mimic my every move. I, when when I do this stuff in the front of the classroom, oftentimes I see students with swords and they have that same break in the sword. They have everything down to the point where I'm like, wow, you copied me perfectly. Um, 
keep in mind, you know, this is just silhouetting and it's just to have fun. It's just a doodle, I call it. Usually I'm doing it a lot faster, but I'm trying to take it really slow. And oftentimes if you do it too slow, you'll get hung up on detail. So it's important not to get hung up on detail like I am doing right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this and duplicate it. And then we're going to go like this with the move tool. I'm going to move this to right about here. And go edit, transform, flip horizontal. And I'm going to get this really cool sword. And if I can use the arrow key to move it over so I can fix the point at the very top, I can. And then apply that and then layer merge down. The only thing left to do is kind of fix up the fact that I got these little scrubby things to do. The handle's kind of thick also. That is a detail that I want to repair before I go on to the next level. right about there and then apply it and oftentimes it's hard to see where the center is of it so just play around don't worry we're gonna be cutting it in half again so there we go then we got our basic silhouette of sword see that wasn't so bad and now I want you to come up with your silhouette and then when you're done with your silhouette move on to the next video enjoy meet you in the next video